fucking sucks. Holy crap, that sucks. Yeah, that fucking sucks, but this is pretty bad. This is pretty good stuff right here. Yeah, just come over here and touch her breast. Hi. Yeah, here, just stick your finger up her nose. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's art. It's art. It's art. Man. Why you want to beat up on the art, man? Yeah, why? What's the story, man? She didn't do anything to you. What do you got? These guys are from Oakland, I think. Right? Yeah. And you guys are the original members, right? Original three members, yeah, from 84. And then there was a second incarnation. Yep, 86. Well, which, which you guys are not a part of. Six months. Yeah, it's about six or seven months. With, uh, uh, Andy Anderson and Chris Caparo and Rick Straw. Oh, cool. And we did the American Paranoia album. And uh, then in 86, about two months before the record came out, those guys quit. And by 87, we had these guys back with Keith Madera. And then it goes on and on. And then you guys recently played the, uh, the Fillmore. Is that right? How long ago was that? Oh, that was... Um, 2010? 2010 with Anvil. Oh, okay. And you, you were able to bring some of those old, uh, old members back just for shits and giggles for a minute. We brought... Yeah. We brought Chris Caparo up, the guitar player. Oh, okay. That was great. Yeah, he must have loved that. It was fun. It was yeah, totally was awesome. Shit. Who wouldn't want to play the Fillmore? Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's for one song. Fucking hey. Fucking hey. Go. Good times. Now you uh, have a new record, is that right? Coming out on Tang? It's, fairly, it's, it's out. out. It's been out. It's out. It's been out for a minute. It's being downloaded rapidly. And uh, we're not making any money from that. Are you able to track... <laughs> are you able to track downloads? N well, yeah. You can see on the site sometimes you how... how many people but they don't, they don't count, you know. So people should, you know, remember that music costs money. To make it's hurting us. It's hurting us. We get no tour, tour support because of it. Um, our record sales are down because of it. It's rough, man. It's it's rough. Yeah, People download, download it for free, man. Downloading is killing music. I'll have to say. And do you think it, it, it actually does make sense to sue the people that are stealing from you, right? Um, if I wanted to go over there and take everybody's shoes off right now, we'd have a problem. The cops would be here. I'm being fucking ass raped for my music daily, and no one's doing a thing about it. Obama doesn't even mention the arts. He's gone as far as to mention non believers, you know, hinting towards atheists. But what about the arts? And what about artists that are being ripped off? I hate to say it, but Lars and Sheryl Crow and all those people were fucking right. Um, these same people that download go, I never see these bands, they never come on tour. Uh, that's because no revenue goes to the label to get the good old thing called tour support. So it's hurting us really bad because we're downloaded in the tens and twenties of thousands and we've sold 840 hard disks. Have you uh, tried downloading your own music? Um, no, I just listened to it on YouTube. I got the hard copy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That we, makes we have, sense. We have the original eight tracks, so we just listen to those. <laughs> so you guys have played Sacramento before, I take it? Yeah, we played here a while ago um, at the Steakhouse or something it's called or something. It's like a little steak hole in the wall. The Twenty One and Over show. Oh, the yeah. Distillery. The Distillery. It, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't go well. So this is actually like a step up from there. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, and then we played that one place too out. Um, that little hole. In the, that little stage with the f Filipino. Yeah, but that wasn't in San, Sacramento. Where was that? Santa Rosa. No, 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 no. We played out here with, and Rich Korea was there. And remember, it was that oh, little. No, no, that was nice. That, that little bar. By the train station. I don't know the name of the, the club. Bar. So it's like the third time we played out here since we've been back, and we got to be back together in 07. So. Did you guys get to play here when you're in your youth at all? Did we ever play? Here? No, I don't think I had to just been played out here. Yeah, I got to roadie for part-time Christians out here, but and saw a bunch of cool shows out here, but none. Didn't get out of here. So uh, you, you're doing the two days with uh, Scotty's band, yeah. Hollywood Hate, and you were with in the band with Scotty and Verbal Abuse. Yeah, yeah. Well, so it's like reunion of sorts. Yeah, it's good to see Scotty, man. Good to see all the old friends. He's fucking seasoned vet, man. He's awesome. He's an awesome guy. You tasted him? I have not tasted him, but I worked for him for many years. I was a. Uh, I tried to, but he turned me down. Oh. Yeah. I was a taste. I was a taste wrangler back in the day when I was a roadie for them. Oh man, we are, we got all got to start somewhere. So here he comes, and we should probably wrap this interview up. But you're going to Gilman tomorrow, and and you were saying 
tour, no tour support really means no tour for you guys then, right? Well, actually, we're going to go out with uh, Napalm Death, Municipal Waste, and Exhumed. Thank you, um, Municipal Waste. Yeah, Municipal Waste and Napalm Death actually wanted us on the tour, so we're going to do that. But yeah, that's no, no tour support. That's just the money that we make from the pay for that night gets us through the 10 shows, barely. And our own merchandise you know, sales. Yeah, I mean, mer merchandise and mom's credit a cards. Those, a lot of those nights are staying at Staying somewhere to puts us up. Yeah. We, we, I mean, we're roughing it. Yeah, it's the old duel. It's the old duel, man. Back in the van, do it the hard way. Like we're 16 again. <laughs> really? Like yeah. You're like you're 16 again. I don't feel like I'm 16. Because <laughs> I'm not 16. But I'm saying it's just rough because uh, we've, we've earned our stripes. And uh, this late in the game to get what we're getting now, it's just a shame with all the free downloads, man. It's, uh, yeah, we don't want to sound totally fucking bitter, but I got to tell you, man, it's like the downloading is fucking hurting our ability to stay afloat. You know, people have kids in this band, and we bring it out. I mean, we're here on a postage stamp tonight, side stage, bringing a full hour fucking set. It's not like we're coming up and doing 20 minutes and bailing out, you know, limping. I still got to break down my fucking drums. There's no roadies. It's like it costs us money to get here, 85 bucks in the trailer, gas money, all that shit. So, so... If kids want to rethink the downloading thing, buy a fucking record every couple months. You know, one, download fucking everything else. But you got to support the bands you want to see. You know what I mean? It's It sort of makes sense. Spock would say it's highly, illog highly illogical, right? Live long and perspire, right? Is that the way it goes? Fucking A. Well, Live long and perspire. Live long and perspire, yes, long yes. And expire. <laughs> so stay in the shade. All right. Yeah, live long and expire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you for your time.